welcome in host of the Coming Up Winner Sports Gambling Podcast, Jason McIntyre, to the VIP room. Welcome, sir. The Dallas Cowboys are home dogs versus the Jaguars this week, getting three points. Jason, you have been just victimized by the Cowboys the last few weeks. Have you learned your lesson yet, or are you sticking with the boys? Yeah, I'm done with Jason Garrett. I mean, what a clown card they were driving on Sunday night in Houston. I'm so embarrassed for Cowboys fans. My guy Skip Bayless, all these guys so disappointed. Rachel, I'm going with the Jaguars this week. Oh. I absolutely think this is a perfect spot for Blake Bortles to get well. Everybody saw the turnovers best he had in Kansas City. But I'm a believer in Blake Bortles. And again, this is a secondary in Dallas that was shredded by Deshaun Watson. I think he had 8.3 yards per pass. And the week before, Matt Stafford with some obscene numbers, 285 yards through the air. This is a bad Dallas defense. I like the Jags on the road. I know home, home underdogs are hot this year in the NFL, but give me the Jaguars getting favored by three. Jason, when you look at this Jaguars offense, down Corey Grant, Leonard Fournette still not in the mix. Do you, are you that confident Blake Bortles can go out there, protect the football, and do enough to try and win this game, given the fact that they just aren't scoring in bunches away from home? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I heard Jamal Charles beat you out for the uh, final roster spot there, and he's joining the team this week. <laughs> so I like Jamal Charles, you know, uh, you know, from seven years ago. But listen, it's not really about the running game. This is going to be the Jacksonville defense. The two best corners in the league are going to absolutely shut down the Dallas receivers and I don't know how Ezekiel Elliott's going to find room to run. This feels like a low-scoring Jacksonville victory to me. All right, moving on. The New York Giants lost on a last-second 63-yard field goal to the Panthers on Sunday, dropping them to 1-4 and four on the season. The Eagles aren't doing much better at 2-3. and three. Jason, what's the play this weekend on Thursday Night Football on Fox? On Fox, of course. I have uh, won some money against the Eagles the last couple weeks, and I'm going against them again here. This is a team that doesn't look right. I mean, they can't protect Carson Wentz. I saw a stat that he's been hit 27 times in the three games he started. And I know the Giants can't pressure quarterbacks right now. However, this is a spot where the Eagles offense is just in disarray. Jay Ajay, we know, is done. There were some rumors uh, earlier today they're trying to trade for LaShawn McCoy, uh, which I just find comical. And this secondary in Philadelphia, they can't guard anybody. I think Odell Beckham has a big game here. And Eli Manning, the much maligned Eli Manning, only completing 60% of his passes for his career. This year, he's at 71%. The check down king, Eli, gets it done at home for the Giants in a must-win spot. Yeah, Jason, I give it over under four and a half days before Odell actually punches Eli in the face. <laughs> it, it, it looks as if it's happened already if you stare at Eli closer. But honestly, do you think in his head, Odell Beckham thinks he's a better quarterback than Eli Manning? Because I'm thinking that might be the 1, case. 1,000%. It's possible, Sal, but I, let me say this. A lot of guys at this, def at this network are defending Odell Beckham. Well, he's just speaking the truth. That's total nonsense, okay? You can't trash your quarterback publicly, and he's got two Super Bowl wins. You don't even have a playoff victory. This, o this Odell Beckham defense at, the at FS1, is it's starting to roil me a little bit, Sal. And I, and I know you can't be behind this. You can't trash your quarterback before a, a game, and you haven't won anything in your career. You can't know, do that. You, you That's a play he does every single your... day. He's not won anything. He trashes these guys on a daily basis. <laughs> You're trashing our network, Jason. That's not very smart either, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not trashing. I'm just sending a message. All so. right, moving on. Uh, Phillip Rivers and the L.A. Chargers travel to Cleveland to take on the greatest quarterback in the history of football, Baker Mayfield. Jason, please, 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 please tell me you are betting on Baker, Baker, money clip, maker. Give me yeah, this is a, a travel special, Rachel. You know, uh, the Chargers coming from the West Coast to the East Coast for the early kickoff. I got to say, the Chargers seem like a paper tiger to me. They've played two good teams, right? The Rams and the Chiefs. They lost both those by double digits. And they beat up, you know, some pretty bad teams, the Bills. You know, they stomped the 49ers. And, oh, wow, you know, these ugly, impressive victories. I mean, the Raiders aren't any good. So I think Baker Mayfield is going to get it done here. I've been a doubter of Baker Mayfield. I'd still take Sam Darnold over Baker Mayfield. But I'll say this. Mayfield has been very impressive for a Big 12 quarterback uh, coming into the NFL. He's not making the mistakes. Listen, Baltimore had the best defense in yards per play in the league coming in, and he only turned it over once. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed by Baker Mayfield. I think points are going to be scored a, 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 to a large extent. I think this is going to resemble a little bit the Raiders game where both teams go up and down the field. Remember, the Chargers are on their way to London to go play against the Titans uh, over there where I will be wearing my crown. 
uh, come Sunday. I'll be taking a picture in front of Buckingham Palace and making sure everybody knows that I am the champion. But I think the Chargers are going to win big here. I think the Chargers are going to win by double digits. Wow. As much as Baker Mayfield has continued to evolve, I just believe in Phillip Rivers. They go out, and they're going to get on a roll. I think the Chargers are going to beat the Titans next weekend in, uh, in London as well and uh, really come back, and people are going to be talking about them as a legitimate title contender. You disagree? You just don't buy in at all? I mean, I like the Chargers, but double digits? I mean, Anthony Lynn beating anybody by double digits is crazy. Anybody good, that is. He's not a good coach, Clay. I mean, you know, I know you're excited about your London trip. Don't overlook uh, Denzel Ward, who's one of the best young cornerbacks in the league. And that Cleveland defense, Miles Garrett's going to be all over uh, Phillip Rivers in this one. Did a game even happen if Clay told us he's not going? Because I don't think it does. I'm going to be in London at the game, by the way, guys. Thank Just you. so you know, I'm going to be in London going to the game. Sounds like fun. Uh, in an epic Sunday night matchup, the undefeated Chiefs travel to Fox Road to take on the Patriots. I'm so looking forward to this game. The Patriots seem to have finally found their footing the last couple of weeks after dominant wins over the Dolphins and Colts. Jason, do the Chiefs have any shot in New England getting three and a half? Uh, it's, this, is a, this is, like you said, Rachel, one of the best games of the weekend. I just can't go with Andy Reid here. You, if you look at what Kansas City's done this season, they're starting to tick down just a little bit. Mahomes struggled. I, I know it was the Jags, but he was at home. First game, not throwing a touchdown, was picked off twice. Now Belichick gets an extra two days to prepare here. I, I just can't take Andy Reid against Belichick. Belichick owned him historically. I believe he's 5-2 and two against Andy Reid. And this, this feels like the end of the road for the undefeated Chiefs. I love Tom Brady in this spot, and I don't love Tom Brady at all as a Jets fan. Jason, if I give you a pick, I'll give you the Rams, the Chiefs, and the Patriots against the field in the NFL to win this year's Super Bowl. Which way are you going? I'll take the field. I mean, I, you know, Todd, I'm all about value here as a gambler. Uh, so give, give me the field here. I, I can totally see the Chiefs, fall, you know, the wheels will fall off that train as they usually do in the end of the season. Patriots, we'll see. You know, we'll see if everything is still copacetic between Bill and Tom. And, uh, you know, I like the Rams a lot, but I feel like somebody could surprise my Vikings, my Bears. Yes, I've co-opted those teams. Keep an eye on the Saints, and uh, I'm not ruling out the Blake Bortles-led Jacksonville Jaguars. Wow. All right. Thank you, Jason, for dropping some knowledge on these guys. Coming up next, the guys will play Make Your Point, where every topic should aim to sway you as you begin to make your weekend steps. Coming up, don't go anywhere.